Hello everybody, welcome back to Bellatro Unlocked. We are going to try and increase our blue deck tier list up here. We want to get to orange stake so that we might unlock the last deck on the road to 100% file. So, blue deck, purple stakes, required score, scales faster. We're going to play slowly, we're going to play methodically, and we're going to see what we can do here. We don't get any benefit for this. And then we can make that Polychrome Joker free in the following shop. So if we can just get past the goad here, we could be on for a good time. Show me a diamond. We have 4-3 ace in pairs. But no 5, nothing better to do. So we're going to go for the flush. We have two fives. Happy to see that. We have fives and twos, not the super highest scoring things in the world. But we can try. Alright, we might have to pivot to hearts. We've got seven hearts in the deck. The ace is going to score basically nothing for us, unfortunately. And we get no hearts. Uh, if we had the straight flush, we might make it, but I don't think this flush is 295 points, unfortunately. No. All right. From the top. It was a good plan. It was a viable plan. It just didn't work out. Here, we want to make a hand in one hand so that we can get the extra $4 afterwards. Queen? Yes. Yes. So this should be enough that we then have $8 to buy something reasonable to get us through the first few blinds. Well, an eternal misprint is so-so, but a credit card gives us loads of flexibility. Before we do that, hmm, Spectral Pack could have make a copy of something so what I really want to do is buy a credit card, roll once, find something great. Neither of these are that. Ah, oh, man. I was so hopeful. And indeed, none of this is make a copy of something. We are at our cash limit. I fear that we have set ourselves up for failure. But we'll do our best. With all of these clubs, we're going to be okay with gluttonous on the board. We still have credit card, so we are still flexible to do more stuff. I think I'm going to start selling stuff aggressively to try and not only find better common jokers, but to also earn back some of this cash. Oh, you but. Well, that will keep us moving. Show me an ace or a nine. What do you want me to discard? Sevens. We're not going to have any sevens if we discard with the last discard. We won't have a discard left for the rest of these. Four of a kind is not going to be it. Let's sell this guy. We're in positive cash again. Let's see if there's something really good in the buffoon pack. Bloodstone. When it works, it's great. I'm then going to sell credit cards so that Riff Raff can make something. Clever Joker probably isn't it, but we are now able to pursue either hearts or clubs reasonably well. Of course, no Bloodstone procs there. We need 300 points. I think just a Club King high will do it. Just barely. Right, sell this guy. 
You make hearts. Good for bloodstone. Only one hand type this round. We're not going to be able to afford this polychrome joker. I'm going to ditch gluttonous because we're working with hearts here and we can have a better chance to get riffraff to give us something we're happy with. Which is not these things, unfortunately. Now, here, we can make some extra hearts. Uh, six, five, four, three, two, with three hearts in play. Bloodstone being stingy so far. All right, Wily can go. Chaos. We can reroll once for free. I will. Chaos can go. And then Telescope. We have played three flushes, three straights. We'll take the Telescope and then try and make our hearts work out. The Mouth. Play only one hand type this round. Red card and Chaos is back. Red card is not going to be the one for us today. But with a couple of procs here, we could be okay. Thanks, game. I appreciate that. Right, we have... 5, 6, 7, 8 does not make a straight. We have no pairs. We must play a flush to score more points. We need one more heart. We get it. This should be 1,200 points regardless of Bloodstone's effectiveness. And then we want to see planet packs. We get one. Right. We're going to sell this guy and this guy retrigger all played face cards means red heart face cards will have two chances to trigger bloodstone and we already made some extra ones so that's six dollars this is six dollars which lets us level up our base flush value And Droll Joker is actually lovely. So the king will trigger twice. We do not have a five right now. We have a very awkward... Oh, we could do threes and twos. With Fortune Teller, we just about get there. Very thin margins today. Three dollars. Ah, oh, Dusk would be great. We're just doing one big heart flush on the end. But do I really want to get rid of Fortune Teller to make my hearts play twice? This is plus 10 molt. This replaced that plus 10 molt. This isn't growing very fast. I'm going to risk this. We need to increase our base flush multiplier a lot. Um, we're also going to lose out on a lot of money for playing cards on the last hand, but I think right now, if we get a couple of procs here, we'll be okay. 3,400. Here's just a flush. And then this full house will get us over the 5,400 point mark. Mm. 
Right. <laughs> Retrigger the first peg card in scoring. But I think what we need is more flush base value right now, which is great for these two planet packs. Base chips and malt are halved. Really sucks. Alright, let's play through these hands because we need to find five hearts for our last round anyway. Um, I want to play the red face cards at the very end for certain. There's a bunch more out there. So we might find them. Like that king. Exactly like that. Then we can discard to try and find other red face cards. And this will all trigger twice. The face cards will trigger an additional time. And Bloodstone is a 1 in 3 chance with plus 10 from Droll. There's your basic plan. Now we need to upgrade our face cards a bit. You would be great if I had any room for you at all, which I don't. We can also continue to upgrade our flushes. Uh, it gives a free mega standard pack. We aren't going to get rewards from this really. All face cards are drawn face down is not that bad because we can sort by suit, which will be okay. Um, Alright, we'll do this. Red face cards. I'll take this because it has plus 10 malt on it, and I'll take this because it's lucky and a heart. Can I find a 4 or something? Not really. Fine, the 4 is not going to trigger, but I need to get the big Dusk play going, as we've discussed. What I'm really hurting myself on is my economy. This is not doing wonders for my bank balance. The lucky card triggered for Multiplier, which is nice. Your six dollars, your four, I will dabble. Temperance, and then more flush value. Save seven dollars, we get one dollar of interest back. So here we simply sort by suit. This is, uh, could be an ace, a king, a king, a queen, or a jack in aces or clubs. Let's just play this. Alright, so these are three face cards in hearts, which is a really lovely place to be. We just have to play down to our last hand. Again, it's not doing wonders for our economy, but there's very little we can do about that. So if we could just do that every round, we could be okay. $13. I think I'm inclined to just save for interest, although two tarot cards. If we can get some glass or some multiplier on these, that would do huge stuff for us. Well. In lieu of that, making more hearts, especially three five of hearts if we want to get to flush houses. And this club can become a queen of hearts. That's more red face cards or more heart face cards for us. Lose one dollar per card played is going to suck, but I can mitigate some of that with an investment tag and then we could reroll this boss, but I'm fine 
We can just play high card four times and then play the heart flush on the end. Six, seven, eight, seven, eight. It's fine, two pair. We have to play through our hands anyway. If we could turn that ace into a heart, I'd be very happy. Now we just play our smallest hearts. And more smallest hearts. And this is like perfect. So we're going to get a 10 mult from this. We have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 chances at a 1 in 3 chance to double our score. Wow, game. 15 chances, and you give me none of them. That is rough. Okay. Let's skip this one, which will give us an easier time scoring a big hand here. Because of our giant hand size. Can you show me the rest of the hearts that make this straight flush, or this straight flush? No. All right, then. It was pretty greedy, wasn't it? At this stage, I just need a king of hearts. We have no four. All right, you know what? Ditch that one. Right, we will be able to afford the polychrome that we make if we can get through this encounter. That's the big scary part. I would love to find a queen. But a pair of aces. I mean, it's minimally strong. Oh, and it's not allowed. Of course it's not. That's on me. Must play five cards. If I lose this by like 25 points, we know where I went wrong. Ace for a six. Not going to be 300 points. That's fine. Right, let's hope for a really good polychrome joker. That's a pretty good polychrome joker. As it goes. I should have bought this first. I'm bad. Um, that will still be there in a blind or two. So. Let's take our interest and then we'll take the discount voucher. We want to find aces above all else right now. Obviously, I would take a queen or a six. Well, <laughs> I got queens and sixes, but we'll play quads. Then, high card looking for another ace. And sixes full of aces. DNA will enable us to make as many aces as we want. So, discount everything. Let's do the spectral card first, in case we can make a copy of this. Add polychrome to a random joker, destroy all other jokers does not work here. So, you get a blue seal. Then we buy this. If we can make enough aces, four of a kind becomes more valid, but I think right now I'm going to hold $5 for the interest. All heart cards are debuffed. So, first things first. Make another ace. Then I would love 
to find a second ace to go with these eights. Alright, I will play eights and sevens while I'm looking at it and repopulate my hand with something else. That's a lot of twos. I need at least an ace. Okay. Is this... 2,000 points. I fear it's not. We're okay. Just barely. Uh, Retrigger the first place card in scoring. If that first card is an ace, that's really good. Uh, planets don't do much for me right now. I would love a negative. I just... I need more chances at shopping well. Hopefully, hanging Chad here comes in clutch. Nine hundred points for an ace is not bad when it triggers twice. We've got nines full of sixes. I'll take it. It's worth basically nothing to me. Good grief. I need one more ace, please. I really badly need one more ace. Well, at least this is more chips, but I'm dubious. We do get three effective aces as well. Whoa, 29 points over. Oh, negative scary face. Fine. But I'm not getting any, any stronger for doing this. Okay, well... I'm not taking super position right now. We need to find these aces. There's two of them. Do I... Actually, I can do this, right? We do that. Get our extra ace. And then if we want to, we could play this spade flush very early. Then we still have four aces after this. Two of which are hearts. That's probably an ace of hearts. Could be. I don't know if it's spades, it'll be on the left. Um, I could just play this flush while it's staring at me. We are going to get more chips out of the king. There is an ace. That's another ace. That's good. Probably the ace of spades then, perhaps. Let's discard here. That did not help at all. We have three queens, three jacks, one nine, two sevens. Show me a queen or a jack or another ace. Wow, okay. That is not strong. Is this 2,000 points? Maybe, probably not. Again, we claw by. Okay, that is massive. We need that. We also want this. How many, I guess, full houses and high cards? Maybe we don't need this right now, but we need this for sure. And Cartomancer, create a tarot card when a blind is selected, must have room. Gives us much more reason to play the small blind. Though another negative joker would be huge. But no, I'm going to play. We get a tarot card and another chance to make an ace. Star, not really what I was after, but we're up to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven aces. I would prefer to find the Ace of Hearts. We don't, so do I care which other spade, which one we make? 
We know what big blind we're up against. Discards two random cards. Okay, so we'll make an ace of spades right now. Then I will play this Heart Flush, and we have Lusty Joker to help facilitate a lot of that now. Alright, we can breathe a little more easy right now. Star doesn't really interest me. We have the base, 13 diamonds. Judgment is more interesting, though what would I get rid of? No idea. So, I guess we're going to hold this for an emergency until we have a real reason to replace it. Tower, also not great. Ace of Hearts, lush though. Three thousand points just for that. I will play this straight. I am gifted. Should have put the seven of hearts on the left, I guess, but that's fine. And this full house will almost certainly be fine. Ace on the left, it will trigger Lusty twice with Hanging Chad. Of course, we can get rid of DNA at some point when it's really borderline for us. Um, pair of jacks. All right, we're going to go ace, jack, six into diamonds. Still so very borderline. Mr. Bones could be our saviour, but there's an opportunity cost to taking it. But at the same time, it gives us a lot more flexibility to keep making aces. Take $14. Is there anything that I can find here that is going to be like, yep, yeah, we take that immediately? Like the tribe, I guess. The 2x if you have player flush. Where are we at? Upcoming the hook. Alright, I will level this up because it doesn't take us below $20 on the interest borders. More Ace of Hearts seems like a given. But now we have to be very careful about what we play with using played hands as discards. Because this is probably going to get rid of this Ace, which will suck. But at the same time, I just need to play the strong hands that I have. Okay, we get to keep the Ace of Spades. That's very lucky. 12,000 points. And that is such good fortune. Obviously, we made some of that fortune by filling the deck with more Aces. Splash, not really what I want. I will take an extra discard. Do I want to look for more aces? We have 10 right now. We might find some hearts as well. Um, I'll take a wild king because that triggers scary face and flushes. And a re-triggering 10 of hearts is really good. play only one hand type this round that will be flushes we're gonna get three dollars on interest but we also get the chance to make an ace which is important if i could find a diamond 
I would play it. I can't, and I now have two Ace of Hearts, so... Let's go heart fishing. Just wondering about making a stone card and playing two pair or something here, but... I'm not going to. Okay, well... We can play a full house. And right now, we don't have any kind of actual allegiance to heart flushes. So a full house with three aces is going to be better than a flush with two aces, I think. This also has two scary face triggers in it. thousand points. We have six aces and one jack in the deck still. Ace of hearts on the left. All right, this is good stuff. Not either of those right now, I think. Although, Green Joker could scale very fast with five hands, three discards. I guess on average it's going to be plus two per round, which is not the greatest. I will take full house value. Oh, well. This could be so incredibly helpful. We need, we also do, if we hop into our collection, we need to discover three of the five um, legendary still. So we're going to take the soul. It's just a question of what are we going to lose to do it. I think Mr. Bones has to be the sacrifice here. He was our insurance policy, but hopefully this is more of an insurance policy. Chico. Disable the effect of every boss blind. It's a very nice thing to have. It's a very, very nice thing to have. Where, which blind are we going into? Big blind. We'll be fine on the big blind. Um, we can discard five cards that are not aces, looking for an ace of hearts as a priority. We don't find one, so we will play... We on clubs and diamonds. We have one of each, so much of a muchness. Let's go black cards over red cards as a general rule. Then, do I just play a pair of aces looking for more hearts right now? I guess I can do this. Okay. No Ace of Hearts, but we still have nine Aces in the 44 cards to come. We're going to see 20 of them after this. So I think we just play a Heart Flush and then try and play something big with Aces thereafter. Well, we could work towards another heart flush. We have 10 hearts in the deck still. So we play this heart flush and then Oh, I don't I don't love these margins. Just trip aces. Hopefully it's 11,000 points. Get the heart to trigger twice, of course. Ah, oh, god damn it. Well, we found this joker from the soul. And we'll go once more because we're definitely including this in the playlist because we found something. 
I will take five dollars. Because doing the small blind isn't doing anything else for me. So many pairs, game. Uh, got a king for me? No, we got lots of spades. Yeah, the higher anti scaling is just brutal. Okay, this is an interesting situation. I'm going to do this and look for something really strong. Alright, we're going to give ourselves wild early economy here. We can take this guy now because we don't have a second chance to buy it. Well, there you go. There's the start you want to see. Cards played previously are debuffed. Uh, we want to discard three face cards or play trips. Show me some hearts, because we do also have uh, Grow Michelle. So even if we play not trips, we'll be okay. Do we think just trips is 600 points? Probably. What if we just make that giant between 12 and 15? We were definitely going to be okay. Square Joker gains four chips if hand contains exactly four cards. Let's do the Perfoon Pack first. Blue Joker for more chips. In which case, I don't feel that we need Square Joker nearly as much. I will take the full house value. I will take the additional discard. And this is plus two chips for each remaining card. So maybe we want to make our deck as big as possible. Um, I would rather play a card for $3 than hold a card for $3. Did I skip that rather than taking the card? You moron. Okay, four dollar reduce. Gives one dollar per played hand. I'm just going to take as many chances to get Grow Michelle extinct as possible. This will be enough points. Just will. There goes Grow Michelle. Uh, I will take Showman. It's an interesting card, if nothing else. Makes it so that cards can appear twice. Now, without Grand Michelle, we actually have to think about making trips. But I will play the hands I'm gifted. Then, I would love to make more money. But we also have to think about actually winning the blind as well. Let's just look for diamonds while getting $5. Then we can look for a diamond or an eight. Then we can look for a nine or an eight. We've got two nines, one eight remaining. Of course, the game is not going to give it to me. There you go. Everything was fine. I never doubted. Pair next to trips is interesting. I think it keeps us moving for a while, which is fine. I'll hold $10 for interest. Then show me a queen or a three. Right. How does just a pair of tens do? A thousand points. It's respectable. So, in that case, 
Can I? I think I can discard three face cards and faceless still procs. It does not, because two of them were. Um, debuffed, so that's a shame. But this will get us through the blind, which is totally fine. What else do we need? Not hanging Chad again. I'll take an Arcana pack for four. And just money, thanks, which lets me do a Celestial pack for four. Um, two pair. Vampire is an intriguing prospect. All right, let's see what we can do with this. We need to find a full house to start. We get it. We put glass on here, and the glass is gonna get eaten by the vampire. And now we just feed the vampire as much as possible. One in two chance to create a tarot card when any booster pack is opened must have room. It's more possibility to fuel vampire. It's just not scoring, but it kind of is scoring in its existence with vampire. So we'll see how this goes. Nothing on that one. Um, another justice. Nothing on that one. Uh, I will take $10. And then we will look for an ace or a six. And of course, not find one. There you go. More fuel into vampire. But we still need some points. The nine can go into the vampire. Uh, it doesn't have to score, so we can do it this way. Good. So 1.6 now. Um, Lucky does work with vampire. Arcana pack. We get the chance to make some spades, which is interesting. Or we can make a stone card, which will go into vampire. So, nine ace ace are spades. Um, I can make the nines into tens. Then I'd have three ten of spades as well. I think feeding the vampire is more important. We get a hero font card, which is great. That's two more enhanced cards. And this is not great. Trips. So we want to find a full house to play as a preference then you two can go into bonus cards you can go into a lucky card and all of that gets eaten by the vampire vampire is now 2.4x absolutely perfect timing Um, I can either make two steel cards, which are actually not going into Vampire because you would just hold them. But I think I'm going to use this now, make Hermit, use it again, and that's going to fund more of this stuff. Let's go with, have we made less of something? Tens. 
Oh, 10 is the stone card, which will get eaten. So, no, we haven't really. So, you're in steel. Strength card is fine. More full house for us. Um, more shiny jokers, please. Driver's license is antithetical to vampire's existence, unfortunately. Arrowhead is probably stronger than Blue Joker overall. We've made more spades. Reroll the boss or hearts are debuffed. That's fine by me. Uh, we have a straight. We just have a stone card for that. Let's just see how this does. A thousand points. Not super strong. Uh, I can make a king into an ace. I can make two jacks into two queens. Let's do that right now. And then we will simply play the spade flush for 250 chips with a pair for plus eight. Hopefully that's enough. Just barely once again. good amount of money. We will buy that after doing these packs. Um, a free full card is wonderful. Let's copy the stone card. Then crack this one. And I think the obvious choice here is Hierophant, because that makes two cards that can go into Vampire. So, you become Hierophant, we buy you. I'll level up trips again. And move on. All heart cards are debuffed, is fine. Um, what do we want to play? Great question. Um, probably a big hand with some spades in it. Okay, let's do this. And this, just to get all of that into Vampire. So Vampire will be 3x. Then I'm a big fan of this full house. I feel like we can do better than Jolly at some point. But until then, we muddle on. Extra hand size is great. Um, I will look for, through five cards for just about anything that can go into Vampire. We also got a Hanged Man. Um, would I rather have a foil card or an enhanced card? I think i just take the enhanced card because the foils are not in suits that I'm super fond of. Uh, I'll open this as well, remembering that Hallucination is a thing, and take a stone card. Hold $10. Play only one hand type this round is a little scary, but we can always re-roll it in an emergency. Um, I should be able to figure out. I got two stone cards, and one of them was just a brand new stone card, I think, so I don't know exactly what this is behind the stone. Let's hold the aces. Actually, let's play this. That was the ten of clubs. Right, aces full of fours is strong. We have one more ace of spades. How many aces? Yeah, we do have three ace of spades. 
All right, I'm not going to use more discards on this right now. This seems good to me. Full house is a higher base level as well. 23,000. Borderline. Uh, we're so close, I'm comfortable just feeding this straight in. Queen of clubs. Then what? We've got four more queens in the deck. Five tens, one nine, two eights. Uh, we can comfortably do this full house, but we lose the steel if we do that. And I'd kind of like to keep the steel, but for a thousand points with Jolly and two spades, this will be fine. We just need something better than Jolly here, I feel. 10 malt plus one hand size. This is eight malt doing nothing. So that's a big boon to us. Um, I will hold $10 for eternal, uh, for interest rather. I was looking at this. $15? No. I want more chances to do more to vampire. Our natural hand size right now is 10, which is massive. Uh, show me a queen or a 10. We got lots of them. Uh, we could play spades. I don't love it. I would much rather play something with trips in it. These two red fives. I'm going to destroy them. We then redraw much more cards, which is lovely. Vampire going to 3.6x. Thirty-five thousand. Um, I was looking for something to pair up with these twos. Although I can just play trip twos. I don't need to play the full house. That's on me. I could have saved myself a dollar probably because of the extra hand I would have had. Jolly is back. Devil is good. Seltzer. Okay for Arrowhead, but Fortune Teller is really where the money is at right now. That is huge when you times it by 3.6 as well. Um, I think the simple choice here is the Red Seal Holographic Glass Jack. We get a moon card and we have a devil card. Play one hand type this round. That hand type is going to be important. Don't accidentally make a flush house and then be stuck having to the try and find another flush house. Just show me a queen real fast. Good. Okay. Uh, queen gets gold. And full house, queens full of sevens. One spade, but that's fine. Thirty-two thousand. We have some threes. We have three kings, three queens, three jacks, five tens. Uh, two kings, five tens. I'm going to ditch the steel cards. Okay, eights, threes, kings. We 
We have two kings, zero eights, one three. Come on, game. How dare you do this to me? We don't make a second full house. Two kings, two tens, no eights, one three, all at the bottom of the deck. I can't make a full house right now. That's so upsetting. All right, that is going to be it for today. We fail to make any progress up. We did unlock a legendary joker along the way, but for now, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the series, please do consider subscribing or hitting that like button. If you have any questions, comments, recommendations, put them down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.